Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are enjoying your long weekend. It's been a busy weekend for me, trying to go through all my things and figure out what stuff I want to keep, what stuff I really don't need and I've been hoarding on to for quite some time. And it's, it really amazes me how much stuff sometimes we can pull out of our own homes that we're really not using but that we have some sort of emotional connection to. And I think it's just mainly because of how hard we work for the things that we get to buy. You know, it can be jewelry, clothes, decor, you know, just random knickknacks, things that were given to us that we might not use, but they have sentimental value. And then you have a yard sale that you know, gets all bulked in with other things and goes for half the price, if not more, of what you paid for it. And it's not so much, you know, the price of it all, but I think it's the effort that went into everything that you purchased with your own money and your own sweat and tears. Um, but you're hoping it goes to a good home and it's for the right reasons and that's why we do it, right? We keep it going and if we're not using it, why not let someone else use it? But it reminds me of how precious we hold all our information and our documents that, you know, sometimes we work so hard to build our foundation of business, our foundation of our careers, things in writing, reporting, resumes, you know, past experience, past journals and so those things are so important to us and if we were to all lose it at once and you can no longer get into your pictures that you hold so dear or you can no longer get into things that quantified how hard you worked for it it's such a big impact on us so this is just a reminder to try to keep your information safe because just along with all the things that we get to buy with our hard work, our identity and everything that, you know, our credit, which is so important to us, that can all easily be taken from us with just, you know, a quick swipe of a credit card or a quick yard sale in your house and it's all gone. Nonetheless, as long as we stay one step ahead and we know what we're dealing with and we know how to handle situations and just be prepared to rebuild or to prevent that's the goal so stay tuned for some more security tips i promise it won't hurt as much as a yard sale keep teching guys peace